everybody. Welcome to Super Comic Fun Time. Today I'm going to take a look at Quantum Mortis by Box Day, Steve Raza, with uh, art by Matt V. Danilovich. This book came to my attention this last Wednesday when, as I was making breakfast, I was going through my YouTube feed and um, Captain Cummings had a video about Box Day. I think it was like a feud between Box Day and Ethan Van Skyver. And then Ethan Van Skyver had a video reviewing this book. So I started watching this and then I thought, you know, before I watch his video, since he's a professional, he knows the things to look for. I wonder what somebody like me, like a schmo, an outsider, would think of this book. So I thought to give it a fair chance, I would stop listening to his video. And I downloaded the book from Amazon on the Kindle, and I read it on the bus on my way to work. Um, when I came home, I wrote a review, and I wrote another one. That's just how I work. My first review has a bunch of garbage in it it doesn't need, so I write the review, just how it flows, and then I go back and I rewrite it, and sometimes it turns out pretty good, sometimes not so much. In this case, I don't think it turned out that well, but you can judge for yourself after you watch this video. I'll include a link to my review in the description. But um, what I'm going to do is... Uh, Go ahead and share the screen. I took a few screenshots. I'm not going to go through the book page by page. This book is 29 pages and um, honestly not a lot that happens in it. Um, so yeah, share the screen. So this is the cover. This is where I stopped um, listening to Ethan Van Skyver's um, review. Is He started describing the uh, cover. And let me just see here. Here we go, let's go ahead and make this full screen. So yeah, and um, you look here, you've got two people standing on top of the building, um, and it's kind of confusing. Is anything happening? They're, they seem to be on a very tall building for some reason, and uh, this guy, his name is Tower, and this woman, uh, he's a military police detective, and she's a civilian police detective. And so, like, in this cover, he's looking down this side of the building and uh, shooting his weapon almost straight down. You know, it's a little bit at an angle. She's looking almost like, she might be looking up. It's almost like she's looking at us. The weird thing is, like, um, uh, her weapon is pointed straight in the air. His is paint pointed this way. It's like, and then, like, here, this thing here is, like, her other arm is making this kind of weird... Um, hand signal. Um, they call that something in yoga, but I can't think of it right now. And here it looks almost like she's kneeling, but as you go through the book, you realize that she just stands like a human accordion. So her knees are probably here. And then, so, you know, the building, you know, this is kind of like a facade on the roof. And so her feet are probably somewhere, somewhere around here. I, I do not understand how this character could stand. Um, and so, you know, they're standing on this building, and there's an even taller building standing behind them. And you have this kind of track here that, um, I guess it's a road. We'll see when we, when we look at some of the other screenshots. So the first thing you notice is nothing is really happening. Is This guy is in his uh, flying car, and he's talking to his computer, who informs him that a murder has taken place. He goes, why are you bothering me with this? Uh, I'm the military police, this sounds like a civilian job. And it says, the computer, whose name is Baby, says, because you told me to inform you of any uh, crime situation that involves uh, Detective Hildreth. That's her name, Hildreth. Uh, very nice, it rolls right off the tongue. So the, uh, they get into some banter and they start, it's like really boring. They talk about the um, space code laws. It, it gets like real legal and nothing happens. And as they're flying through, um, let's see, this one here, I'm not sure why I put this here. This is the uh, eponymous subtitle man, the disrupted man. So um, we'll come back to that later. So here we are, we're flying. And like the first time I went through is like I added these arrows so you could see there is masses of traffic. To me, it felt like I was in a sterile environment um, while I'm, I'm reading this book. It's like this guy and his computer are talking and it's very confusing. His name is Tower. I couldn't figure that out for the longest time. I thought they were talking to the tower, you know, like flight control tower or something like that. I didn't get that that was his name until like I was writing my review 
and I thought I should probably try to make an effort and look like I had read the book, which I did. And then here you see a scene of uh, flying cars because I wondered where the flying traffic was. And it's like something you have to go back to see. And then you don't see any people in this book really, except for like a couple of places. So like here, I think this is a panel after this. I didn't want to get a copyright strike, so I just took very tight screenshots. But yeah, I've got a couple of people here, a couple of people here, but in the streets, you don't really see anybody. Um, I mean, where would you see anybody here, right? But it just, the, the whole feel of it, it reminds me of both the fifth element and the inkle, which I've only, I'm not an expert on the inkle. I've read the first uh, uh, volume. I've got the rest of the comics ready to read, but I'm going through Batman right now on my, on my device, my, my, what do they call it? It's a tablet. So um, I don't know when I'm going to get to the inkle, but I'm excited to because I like the first issue. And now that I've got all of them, I just want to kind of get to it. So maybe if I get bored with reading the new 52 Batman run, I will go to that. So here's like another person. Now, when this scene came up, I, I kind of noticed this person. I didn't notice, like, I think there's a window here. Whoops, I guess. I, can I do this here? No, I can get out of it. Anyways, um, you can see, let's see if I can get out of this and then um, can I make this bigger? Here we go. Whoops, I got ahead of myself. So, so yeah, let's make this bigger. So you can see there are people here and here's like a security robot, but for most of the scene, um, you don't see anything and so like i heard there's a witness so i thought oh this is the guy he's going to talk to is is the witness but no that's not the case this guy disappears you never see these people again it's just like this guy on the street alone with this um green monkey alien thing so what do i have to do now to go to the next one uh... Okay, that's weird. So um, let's just stay here and zoom again. I guess I got to find something better to do. So um, this is the witness, and it, he's like an illegal alien, you know, this kind of funny monkey looking space monkey creature. And um, I'm reading the book, and I'm reading all of this gibberish Nadelling, Appa, Appa, Aku, Pitutur. Marang, I mean, am I supposed to be reading this? Like, you know, he's talking, you can't see it here, but this is a translator. And like, I thought, why not just establish that he has to talk into this translator and have the translator tell people what it is. So I, you know, um, I guess that's just the way I read. Maybe I'm not a very good reader and I should have known to skip these panels and go to the, to the next one. But uh, yeah, so, um, this book is divided into two chapters. Uh, they both start with blocks of words, um, and uh, they're, they're words for fictional. Let me just um, for for fictional um, books within the uh, the universe of this book. And um, uh, let's see. I've got the Kindle open here. I, wasn't going to do this, but you, I got I to gotta do this because I didn't get a, a shot of this. So yeah, the first, the comic book is called By the Book. Now here I can't, I, this is just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here um, because uh, I can't, this is the Kindle reader. It's not in Comixology, at least it wasn't when I uh, downloaded it. And this doesn't really give me any means to, uh, whoops wrong thing that's the that's the kindle page that's where i bought it from you know going back to try to spell these guys names um this is it so um share screen so yeah you can see like right here you've got this big block of letters and um uh they don't really tell you anything. They tell you about the, the, the human race going into space. And so like we're in the time 2929 or something like that. It doesn't matter because there's no story in this book. So, um, 
So yeah, here you can see I took this and like this guy, I'm just gonna go through a few pages. So like, he's just, just talking, 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 talking. And then we finally get here. And so yeah, I guess you got these little robots too, but what they are isn't ever really established. Um, so yeah, so you, you know, you can see there's like nothing going on. It's like him, he's talking to his computer the whole time. Um, and yeah, then I guess somebody turns on music. Uh, it's dumb. And so like, here we are. I don't know what page we're on. I can't see past my share screen thing. But oh, yeah, this is the disrupted man. And so like, one of the theories he comes up with is struck by lightning. Lightning doesn't work that way. <laughs> lightning doesn't completely disintegrate people. He's living in a society where um, they have these guns that can disintegrate people. And he thinks this guy might have been struck by lightning. And uh, and so, yeah, then we finally come to chapter two, but we still don't get our other character. Um, so, yeah, so like, like um, here we got, he's like going back and forth. I think he's talking to her now, tell, talking about what he's seeing. So like, he's making sure he looks good. Then he pops a mint and his breath is fresh. And then um, I am going to stop sharing and go back to my screenshots for right now, because I think I do a better job there and um share again share again okay so so okay so yeah there i got him popping the mint and then we see her now what she's doing here is she's putting her hair into a ponytail but look at that pose that's a pinup pose and the thing that doesn't make sense is she arrived in a flying car so she flies her car with her hair going anywhere and if you if you recall from what i was showing you from the kindle um tower isn't wearing a helmet in this flying car so i don't see a helmet i doubt she wears a helmet uh even if she was wearing i mean it doesn't make sense it doesn't so you know the only reason they have her putting up her hair is so that she can strike this pose <sighs> and then like we get lots of dialogue between them so yeah, this is like probably the most exciting thing in the book is they get attacked by these word bubbles, which I, I blocked out so I don't get a copyright strike. And, and it's like, uh, yeah, so here, boom. Then here it looks like they're attacking her head, like these word bubbles are attaching themselves to her head. Then we got this page of word bubbles. It's, it's insane. And then we, but we do finally find out who the, the dead guy is. And it turns out he's this prince um he's exiled from his planet that was taken over by either invaders or this is the page this is like now this i think this whole 29 pages could have been uh boiled down to a couple of pages like this you know this was sort of prince valiant style storytelling on this page and you learn the whole history of these people in just this one page although like going over this war would have made a better 29 page comic book than than what we've got here because after we get this page um we get them talking about jurisdiction again and how it should really be taken over by the military police but uh tower wants to hang out with hildreth so he concocts a way to give the case to her and the the story ends with her going back to headquarters to officially request towers help on the case and that's it nothing nothing happens it's all talking it's all space jargon um the big block of letters you probably saw when i uh, breezed past chapter two was the legal definition of murder in this space colony and it's it's pointless so yeah i still I, I wanted to get this video done before i watched ethan van skyver's review but this is my review this is a very bad comic book i don't know why it made it to number one on um on amazon um but there there isn't anything political in here like box day is supposedly this alt-right person if there were any politics in here i i didn't pick up on him i don't really understand what what alt-right is anyways, as you can see if you read my written review, which I go into more detail about, about things. Um, so I think I'm going to end it there. Please uh, like. If you bought this book and you liked it, 
comment below. Let me know if you bought this book and you hated it. Um, go ahead and comment on that too. Um, yeah, that's that's my last image for this. Um, so uh, it's 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 inexplicable. It's like last week I did uh, Snagglepuss, and that book I kind of felt the story was hackneyed. I wanted to like it. It made some questionable creative decisions, but overall it was a competently made comic book. Stuff is happening. I was bored, but I wasn't that bored. This book was a was was. Uh, it was a job to get through. It was not, it was not fun. <laughs> there was nothing fun about this book. You know, I mean, okay, maybe the artwork a little bit, it kind of, you know, goes back to like 1940s style art, but it, it's not enough. I mean, I mean, here, here's like an example of her standing like a human accordion. Why is she standing like that? Everything is kind of stiff. So, you know, yeah. So anyways, please subscribe, like, and share, and I will have something fun for you soon. Uh, two weeks, I'll be getting um, Tom King's The Vision, the director's cut, the hardcover. I'm very excited about that. I guess some comic books were selling it already. I saw on Twitter. I wish uh, I had it, but I will... I will have it, so that'll be fun. We'll do a Something's in the Box for that, and I will look more at the Jack Kirby books. I want to get back into Swamp Thing a little bit, and uh, I've just got lots of things I want to do. It's just this dead of winter. I've been so tired after work that I am in bed by 7.30 most nights, uh, so it's it's a little embarrassing, but it is it is what it is. I get this hibernation mode in winter, so love you guys. Uh, have a super comic fun time. And stop share and stop recording. Bye.